Okay, I will not touch anything now. Hello, dear friends. Good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And outside, it's uh, quite uh, hot. And inside, with air conditioning, so a little bit cold, I need to wear my sleeve. Anyway, uh, today I got one friend comment about, uh, uh, my, uh, about one video. And uh, he or she said that uh, <clears throat> she started to read book every day, 30 minutes, and now it's reached to 200 pages. And I feel it's very encouraging. If I keep on doing this, we can finish this book. And this is my goal. <laughs> we will not spend too much time talk about those. Let's start. Page 62, Bao Yu undid his collar and uh, produced and produced the pou pouch, making Dai Yu suddenly feel embarrassed. She put down her scissors and looked at the floor. There was no need to cut up the new pouch. If you don't like giving me gifts, you can have this one back too, Bao Yu said, and handed her the pouch. They must be having some kind of a Dai Yu's little, little rumination and things. Okay. Dai Yu began to weep and shouted angrily. Since you are determined to make my life miserable, I am going to leave you. As she walked towards the door, Bao Yu said, It does not matter where you go, for wherever you go, I will follow. Dai Yu stopped and her anger dissolved in a little explosion of laughter. Over in Lady Wang's quarters, there was much excitement since 12 young actresses that Jia Qing, Jia Qiang had brought in Suzhou had just arrived. Ready to, for, to perform a series of operas. Ready, no. Bao Yu, and this is Bao Yu, this is Dai Yu. Ready to perform a series of operas. At the same time, a servant reported that the 20 nuns. Ten Buddhists and ten Taoists that had also been brought, that had also been bought, had also arrived. There was also another girl who had uh, become a nun but had not yet shaved her head. Her name was uh, Miao Yu. Miao Yu. Ah, Miao Yu. And she was 18 years old, well, re well read, and with a good understanding of all the classics, as well as being very attractive. Miao Yu. We do not see Miao Yu here. Is this the Miao Yu? Mm -hmm. During... And this book is in English. I am reading the English version. It is already translated. During the London Festival held on the 15th day of the first lunar month. Of the first lunar month. Okay, it's winter time. Consort, consort Yuan Chun arrived for her visit. The end of the road and all the alleys leading in had been con 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 condoned, had been condoned of, and uh, Jia Shu 
and the young men of the family waited silently at the west street entrance, where the lady dowager and the other ladies grouped at the main gate. So Yuan Chun, everyone is lining up and waiting. At last, they saw two eunuch riding towards the West Street entrance. After they dismounted, they led their horses away and then stood to attention, facing west. Soon, facing, where are the two eunuch? Maybe this is one. Maybe this, this, this. <coughs> Soon another pair arrived and did exactly the same thing. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe this. And did exactly the same thing. More and more appeared until they, there were many pairs lined up and music could be heard coming from afar. So this must be the unique and lining outside to to receive Yuan Chun, <coughs> the historian of the government of the emperor. It was then that uh, the long process appeared. The long procession appeared. So start coming in. <coughs> <clears throat> Some eunuch were carrying dragon ban banner, dragon banners. Others had fan emblazoned, emblazoned, em emblazoned with phoenix and other ceremonial decoration. Fans, other ceremonial decoration. While others were burning. Imperial incense. Shao Xiang. A robed figure appeared wearing an elaborate head, head, headdress and shaded by a bright yellow umbrella decorated with seven phoenixes. Not yet. We have not yet seen the seven phoenixes. Mm. More eunuch appeared behind this figure, carrying sweet-smelling towers, xiangjin, handkerchief, and other gifts, while at the very end could be seen a vast, closed, litter-decorated, litter-decorated, litter, a vast closed litter decorated with phoenix carried afloat by eight eunuch. So it's behind. Now we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight eunuch carried the. Is this called a litter? Everyone fell to their knees. Everyone fell to their knees, including the Lady Dowage. Wow, Lady Dowage also. Uh, the eunuch, the eunuchs quickly helped them to their feet, while the closed litter was borne through the main gate to the eastern, to the eastern courtyard. So. Seven phoenix decorated, and she is entering where the imperial consort would dismount. So she will go to the east courtyard to dismount. Yuan Chun changed her clothes in a small room before getting back into the litter, which was then carried into the new garden. So she changed the room and before entering and then, oh wow, 
It's all decorated with silk. Yuan Chun looked down from her closed litter at the new court that had been built for her and sighed. This is far too extravagant. Yuan Chun said, this is far too extravagant, she said. She was helped down from the litter and led onto a boat, which took her to a small harbor. A sign at the spot read, Smart Weed Bank and Flory Harbor. Liao Ting Hua Zhu Yuan Chun smiled. Why smart weed bank? I think flowery harbor would be fine. <laughs> A eunuch reported her words to Jia Zheng, who soon had the sign changed. Hua <laughs> Gang. At the, far, at the far shore, Yuan Chun asked Bao Yu to lead the party through the garden. They walked by streams and they walked by streams and pavilions, climbing the smaller hills and looking at the different views. At the main hall, Yuan Chun told them not to worry about etiquette etiquette and to sit down and enjoy the banquet. The Lady Dowage and her relatives sat at table flanking the main table while Xi Feng and Madame Yu served the wine and dishes. So this is Yuan Chun and everyone sit on the table this seems the Dowage, but uh, does not seem. She must be much more um, elaborate, but might be. Mm -hmm. mm. While well, the eight Yuan Chun took a writing brush and uh, an ink stone, ink stone, huh? attention, and wrote down new names for her favorite places. She called the main courtyard Grand Garden with a Grand View, Da Guan Yuan. She changed where the phoenix alights to Bamboo Lodge. Zhu Yuan, Zhu, Zhu, Zhu Xuan, Zhu Yuan, where the phoenix alights to Zhu Xuan, and alert and altered red sand and green jade to happy red and pleasing green. Ah, hong, xi lü, lü. She then ordered Bao Yu and his cousins to each compose poems using the new name of these places. Bao Yu and her, his cousins, to make new names. Where is Bao Yu? I actually do not see Bao Yu. Bao Yu should not be here. When they had finished, Yuan Chun studied the poems and commanded each of them, commented, com com command, com common, comment, commanded, com no, commented, commented, commented each of them she made someone copy out the copy out the poems and order them to be pasted outside the hall where Jia Zheng and other family members could read them and give their praise the party then continued their toot their tour around the grounds when that was finished, the family was given many presents. Yuan Chun finally said goodbye to her relatives at three 
at three in the morning, her eyes wet with tears as she climbed into her coveted litter to return to the palace.